And one of our biggest supporters who has helped us make all of this possible is our title sponsor, LAM Research. We saw a short video about them play at the beginning of today's broadcast, and we are pleased to have two people from LAM Research joining us now in the booth. Tim Archer is the president and CEO at LAM Research. He has also served on several corporate and nonprofit boards, including the National Consortium for Graduate Engineering Degrees for Minorities, also referred to as GEM, which is dedicated to increasing the participation of underrepresented groups in engineering and science at the master's and doctoral levels. And Stacy McNeil is a Chief Communication Officer and Group Vice President of ESG at LAM Research, leading both the company's overall communication strategy and its nonprofit arm, the LAM Foundation. She currently sits on the GEM board as well. Welcome to you both. It's a pleasure to have you here. Thank you. It's great to be here. Yeah, great to be here. So I want to start by thanking you so much for everything that LAM Research has done to make this event possible. Now, now that you're seeing that you're here seeing this event in action, how does it help to feel how does it feel to help the world convene in the name of STEM? Well, I uh, I just spent a time down in the pits meeting with a lot of the teams and I, I would just have to say that it is so inspiring to meet these students that come from from all over the world and to see the passion that they have to to learn and to innovate and to solve problems. But also more importantly to work together and to meet others from around the world. And so, you know, for us as a, a, a trying to be a good corporate citizen, it just really makes us feel great about what we're able to do and, and give back here. Wonderful. And can you both tell us how the generous support that you've lent fits into LAM's goals and aspirations? Like, what are you hoping to accomplish by supporting First Global and the First Global Challenge? Well, we have an industry that is on a uh, accelerated growth path. And so we're going to need thousands and thousands of engineers and technically um, trained people. And so we hope that and, and believe that the students here can actually follow a career in STEM. So that's a big part of it for us. But also, you know, uh, uh, First Global has a transformative learning experience. And so getting the kids together in these teams, as Tim just said, you know, not are they learning technical skills, but they're learning how to collaborate and how to work together, which are great life skills. And we love the tie into sustainability. You know, that's also a very important part for us at LAM. Terrific. So LAM Research brings a unique perspective to STEM as a major player in the semiconductor industry. I'd like to know why, what advice would you like to give to, a, to ins aspiring scientists and engineers who would like to work at the cutting edge technology? Sure, well first is of course, uh, just to, to, to dream big. The world has a lot of problems and as I said last night, I think technology really is um, the key to solving many of those, those big issues and so you know, it's to, to think about what it is you'd like to accomplish and then set out to do it. And you see that so much in dealing with these students. At LAM, we, we employ just about every type of engineer. And so regardless of whether your interest is in uh, software engineering or mechanical engineering or um, chemical engineering, you have the ability to participate and really help solve in this team environment these big problems in the world. And then, is there any other type of message that you'd want to send out for there for viewers from across the globe, frankly, that are tuning in and watching this right now about LAM Research's work, um, its charitable initiatives, its mission? I know that yesterday, I loved the, the verbiage that you had used and that the company uses, which is let's prove it, right? I, I would love to know where that originated from, how that mission lives out in every day of, of LAM Research and how you operate. My boss is telling me, he's looking over every so I'll take the first set. Yeah, sure. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, so when I joined LAM, I think what was most impressive to me was the credibility the company, had, the company had in solving problems with their customers. And so as we were thinking about how we're going to amplify our reputation, we really landed on the theme of let's prove it, is that we, will, we are committed to working to solve the problems until we can actually deliver the answer. So we have a, a very big aspirational goal to prove every complex you know, challenge can be solved. I think it's just, it's just the nature of science in general is that you come up with a theory, but in the end, until you've, you've, you've executed it in practice, you haven't proven that theory. And so really our, our motto inside our company is uh, talk is cheap, <laughs> but the data and the result is really what, what matters and has impact. I think I referenced you can you know, talk the talk, but walking the walk is something categorically different. And I'm so pleased. Uh, and certainly blessed as we are at First Global to know that you're doing just that. So thank you so much for all the support you've given us over time. And we certainly know that when we talk about credibility, this, this event has built its credibility over the past seven years. We're excited to see where it goes. And certainly with your support, that's not a small thing. And Tim, talking about um, results, I mean, 
this isn't the first initiative that you guys have supported in regards to pushing STEM towards the youth and just the world in general. I'd like to know, have you seen any changes on just the world in general or the engineers that come working to you as a result from the programs that you guys support? I think we see um, a more rounded, more round, well-rounded individual. We are very big on diversity and inclusion. And so I think that the engineers and the employees that come are really centered in a purpose, mm -hmm. right? They really want to not only contribute to the company, but they want to contribute to the world. And we want to make sure that we're there to support our employees to do just that. Okay. I would just add, actually, you know, one of the big initiatives we had is to, to broaden the reach of engineering. And you see that here. Over the last number of years, we've seen a far greater participation of, of women in STEM and also of underrepresented minorities in, in STEM in the United States and elsewhere. And so, you know, technology and the kinds of careers that get created in this business, they're very rewarding. And we really want to make sure that people from uh, every, every walk of life have an opportunity to pursue that if that's their interest. And I think we have seen progress on that front in, in a number of years as a result of programs like first and also gem and other other programs throughout the world it's certainly a two-way street i would i would argue as a teacher myself what i try to preach to my students is anything that's worth working towards is a work in progress and i suspect that you're doing the same thing at lamb research right it's been growing over time your scope your reach has also grown over time as has this competition what is the next step for you all well we are really looking forward to solving the world's most complex challenges you know, um, we look at the acceleration of technology, the advancement of AI, the advancement of 5G. Chips are in everything, you know, that we see in our everyday lives as well as, you know, in space, in NASA. So I think that we want to continue to have the best workforce that can actually contribute to solving these challenges. And as the, as the, as the industry continues to grow, we want to make sure that there's resiliency, right, in the solutions that can make the world a better place. And you're talking about looking at all different kinds of engineers, right? And that, to me, is such an important piece because we all have such differences, but yet we can all contribute. What are some of the intangibles that you look for in the employees that you hire? What are some of, um, not the skill sets necessarily, but those intangibles, those character pieces? What do you look for? Well, I think you just have to look at the, the core values of land research. It, it spells it out. We're, we focus on things like achievement, um, te teamwork, um, collaboration honesty and integrity. These are things that make you a great uh, employee in a, in a tech company, and those are the kinds of things that really are, are core to, to the right type of employee. And I would also say curiosity, right? I think that one of the secrets to evolving is to maintain that curiosity and make sure that you're asking questions. So we want our employees to be inquisitive. We want them to be problem solvers. We want them to understand that they are empowered to take the lead and to actually solve, um, you know, and come up with their own ideas. So. It's, it is those additional characteristics that we also look for. Great. Well, thank you again, both of you and to LAM Research Company for everything you've done for making this event possible. And now